A group of retired elephants that used to perform for the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus are moving into an exclusive gated community. As Manuel Bajorquez shows you, the animals that were once confined are now adapting to their new home right here in Florida. Just south of the Florida Georgia line, a herd of gentle giants now roams. They are as big as they are majestic. Members of the largest Asian elephant herd in the Western Hemisphere and retirees from the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Earlier this spring, they were shipped here, their lush new habitat at the White Oak Conservation Center. For conservationist Michelle Gad, it's a dream come true. A lot of kids have this dream of running away to be and joining the circus, and I was the kid that wanted to run away and let all the animals out of the circus. Elephant attractions were a part of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus for most of its 146 year history. But in 2016, Ringling finally retired the act after years of public outcry against what many considered animal cruelty. But their retirement wasn't perfect. They were moved to this small preserve south of Orlando. So last fall, the nonprofit Walter Conservation stepped in and bought the 35 elephants and started construction on the habitat. These were their first baby steps into their new home, finally able to roam and feed and bond as a herd, and even cool off when the Florida sun becomes a bit too much. Elephants are among the most social and empathetic animals there are, and here not only are they getting to know their new surroundings, they're getting to better know each other. The two oldest girls, I refer to them as the mean girls, but perhaps they're just a little bit bossy. So this is their first time really interacting as a herd. It's the first time interacting as a herd. They seem to have sorted out a hierarchy amongst themselves. They regrouped right outside the fence and again reassured each other, rumbled, touched each other, put their trunks in one another's mouths. Nick Newby leads the White Oak Elephant Project and works with the animals every day. He knows them all by name even if they're only showing their backsides. Angelica, Sarah, Mabel, Myrtle. Newby says because they have been raised and trained and become dependent on humans, sending them into the wild is not an option. But here, he hopes they can help humans better understand and appreciate this endangered species, of which only about 50,000 remain. So what is your mission for them here? Um, just for them to live a holistic life and a really complete life. The best thing for these animals is to live in a complex environment that's pretty darn close to the wild, <laughs> honestly. This is as wild and free as they can be. I believe so, yes. We want people to realize that elephants are beautiful just as they are. They don't need to be ridden or trained or do tricks or travel the world. Just let them be where they are and you don't get anything more beautiful than that. A beautiful retirement for sure. Now, while there are possible plans for a viewing area around that habitat, White, White Oak has not decided whether the elephants will be part of public tour.